Hey everybody, I have been asked to test some waters for some people. Um, I'm going to go ahead and test. This is the uh, Crystal Geyser water and it supposedly comes direct from the source. Uh, natural Alpine Spring waters. Um, a lot of talk about Alpine waters and what they do and what they don't do. Um, this is additive water. This is called Alkaline Energy Alkaline called acid-free hydration. So we're gonna go ahead and test that on the pH scale. And we're also gonna do a little uh, testing of oxidation reduction potential, which is so important when you talk about uh, what waters really can do for you, what the natural spring waters, what the healthiest waters that we find around the planet, in very small areas um, in Lourdes, France, uh, Telecote, Mexico, uh, New Delhi, India is another place, and in Germany. So. Uh, everybody's trying to get on board with alkaline waters and alkaline waters aren't always the greatest thing for you. Alkaline water, uh, generally when you buy it in the store, ionizers that have a filter system but also add back in uh, minerals are really kind of faking you out and faking out your body and uh, making your body work as hard to balance minerals as it is uh, to drink bottled waters that are reverse osmosed or uh, we had reverse osmosis in our home before we had our uh, Kangen water uh, by Enagic. And then uh, also the uh, other waters are distilled and we have a distiller and we occasionally drink that water. Um, those those uh, waters are leached of their minerals and so they aren't safe either. Either one of those waters that have one extreme or the other, your body is really trying to balance them then. You get one thing and it's pulling from another source so if you're getting you know, positive and negative ions, you want them balanced and easily absorbable for your body. So it pulls from muscle, pulls from bones, causing osteoporosis for us. Uh, I don't know what our bone density did over the time that we were drinking it over most of last summer, but the muscle cramping was terrible. My migraines were terrible. We knew that we weren't hydrating. I thought it was stress. Anyway, so that's kind of where the source where we, you know, we were first introduced to these waters and what they do. So. I'm just a huge advocate of drinking the right waters and what's right for your body. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to get some tap water, we're going to test that. So it's straight out of my tap. Then I'm also going to get some, this is, I've got my under the water system. And so I'm going to get some good Kangen water. First thing we're going to do, I want to crack, you'll know that these are fresh bottles, cracked open. This is Dasani, a popular water for everybody. It thinks it's awesome for you, right? This is that alkaline water. It has minerals put into it, and it says it's not acidic. We should probably even do another water. How about if we do this and this? People don't know that pop is good or bad for them. Let me get out another one. If we get the pop, some of you have been drinking soda, any carbonated beverage, basically it's going to do the same thing because of the carbon in it. Carbon naturally repels hydrogen. And this our big old water here, fresh out of the store. There we go. Now that that was sealed. Boom. There we go. First thing I want to do is test our oxidation reduction, how much, how oxidizing a water, uh, any kind of a uh, material is. We're going to test this for, the water I took it out of was a, a highly oxidating water. Um, one of the machines, one of the waters that our machine makes is uh, a 2.5 acidic acid. So it's very oxidizing and it is an antibacterial, kills most bacteria, MRSA, staph, strep in about 30 seconds. This is staying up there pretty high. Hmm. Okay, we're gonna just go to pop because I know what pop generally is. Very oxidizing as well. It's dropping down. Fresh out of the bubbly, holy cow. Up in the 700s. This is alkaline water. That drops it down for a bit. 460. The other waters were at 700. 
I'm gonna go back to those after I kind of play with this a little bit. Dasani, how oxidizing. So oxidation reduction potential, the ability to be either an antioxidant or an oxidant. So aging, anti-aging. So antioxidant, anti-aging. 595. Okay. Tap water. This is my tap water. 520. And this is. Whoa, look at that drop. This is my antioxidant water. This is crazy. This is down to a minus 734, 732, minus, minus. So, minus, that means it's antioxidant, really strong antioxidant. I'm going to jump back up here because I thought this was pretty crazy. Okay. Better. 290, 300. Okay, we're still climbing. 310. Initially, it was pretty stinking high, and I think maybe just because I pulled it out of, my, out of the high water. We're going to go back into pop. Well, it's still jumping up, but plus 500. This is our alkaline water. Okay, not as bad as it looked. 159, 160. So, alkalining alkaline water, not as oxidizing, not as damaging to your body. This is our Dasani water. And I have to tell you, my tap water does have chemicals in it that are on a, on a community well system. So Dasani, oxidizing, damaging at 390, 400. And then this is my tap water. And then back to my minus seven. 700s in the antioxidant. That makes me feel really good that I'm drinking that water. Now, the other thing I want to do, just real quick, is our pH. So, drops, pH drops. Okay. Greenish. Ooh, crazy. Okay, that is the alkaline water. And it's got that going for it. It is alkaline. Very alkaline, but alkaline really doesn't mean anything. Um, watch this. That's alkaline. That's tap water. Um, so it, you know, it's just more minerals added into it. And alkaline uh, tap water is, it does have minerals. It hasn't been changed, but it also has got chemicals added to it, which makes it more oxidizing. And then this is my Canadian water. Beautiful purple there too. So, um, alkaline water is really alkaline water. But this is uh, a pH probably of six, so it's still acidic. Uh, everybody's like, well, what about drinking water and how does it change our bodies? And what about, what can we do to um, improve how much of this water do we have to drink? So, excuse me, turn my back on you. Um, so a little bit added to it. It's going to change it. Let's start down here. We'll improve it improve it that's already alkaline but here's one thing I really really want you guys to see that is pop and no matter it takes 32 glasses of good Kangen water to even dilute this so that is like super scary I hope you guys really can see how damaging sodas are it's not only just the sugar it is um, some of the other sweeteners that are in it and then also one of the things you deal with is the, um, the carbon, and carbon naturally kills hydrogen, and hydrogen is your strongest antioxidant. So um, these waters aren't, uh, Kangen water isn't just alkaline, it, it isn't alkaline, it's alkalining. You know, it has the minerals that are available to your body so that you can balance it and come from that acidic state to a ba balanced state, and then it's really hydrating, it's electrolyzed, it's living water, it's moving water that looks different under a microscope than you're gonna see in our water that has all the minerals added to it. And you know what's interesting is it doesn't even tell you what minerals are put in and what is what, you know, it tells you what uh, mineral enhanced. So you don't know 
balance minerals if you're getting a lot of copper. I've seen them. I saw them today with copper, with magnesium in them, with potassium in them, with sodium in it. If you're just getting a lot of sodium, what is your mineral? Because that will make a difference. So just beware. Be educated. Find out what truth is because it really does matter. Thank you.